All right, John, so you're coming here from the, the doctor's office. Looks like you sprained your ankle, right? Mm -hmm. Which ankle is it? The okay. right one? Okay, so he kind of wanted us to go over how to properly use crutches. So I'm gonna, you know, fit them to you perfectly and then show you how to properly walk with them as well. So first off, so when we have the crutches, I just wanna first show you how to properly stand up out of a chair when you have the crutches. So scoot to the edge. So since the right leg is affected, the crutch is gonna be on your left side. Pushing off the armrest on the crutch and then bring it over, okay? And then I'm gonna briefly go through it right now, but also go through it with you when you stand up and we adjust it to your height. You wanna make sure that your axilla and the pad are about two inches. So, cause when you start walking, you want the weight through the hands. Don't want you resting like this and then having some compression there because we don't want any neurovascular compression. We don't want any sort of numbness or tingling going down the arms. That means you're most likely putting a little bit too much weight through the armpits there. So weight through the hands, that's a big thing. So next with that right foot, I want you to think about that foot and the crutches are connected. So as you step forward, stepping on that heel, the crutches are gonna be with it. And we're just gonna step two to start. So the doctor said your weight bearing is tolerated. So pretty much that means you're allowed to put as much weight to that right leg as you can. That's tolerable without your symptoms increasing or pain increasing. So just going about it nice and easy. So crutches, that right foot are connected. Stepping with that heel, coming together. Stepping with the heel, coming together. Okay, so one more time. Weights through the hands not resting on the crutches. Bring the crutches and the foot together. Nice and easy. Come here. Okay. All right. And the big thing is you don't want the crutches to be perfectly at your side. You want about six inches up to the side for good base support. Okay. All right. So first, put this gate belt on you just for some safety. I showed you before, crutches on that left side. Make sure to push off with that right hand when standing up. Good. All right. Yep, crutches through the arms. Okay. All right. And like I said before, one about two inches underneath the pad from your axilla. Very nice. A little bit of an elbow bend, about 20, 30 degrees. Looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and work on that step two gate pattern. Go. Very good. Very good. So weight bearing is tolerated. Allow yourself to as much weight as you can tolerate to that right foot. Good. All right. Let's go ahead and turn around. Let's go back to the chair here. Okay. Good. All right. Let's go ahead and have a seat. So same thing. Crutches in the left hand as you back up to the chair. Get another seat and sit down. Very nice. All right. And then real quick, we're also going to go through a step through gait pattern when you start feeling a lot more comfortable. So same concept where foot and the crutches are connected. We're stepping, but then with that left leg, we're going to step through. Step in, step in through. Okay. Let's go one last time here. Step in, step in through. Step in through. Good. And good. Let's turn around. And 
and go on to sit down. Perfect. Very nice. Any questions? No.